Good morning. Good morning. And good day, everyone. And welcome to Adventures with Parker and Michael. Hello. <laughs> Today is our first theme park day of our visit, and we are going to hit up Animal Kingdom. Yeah. First, we're going to uh, head to the main lobby. We're seeing out all-star uh, movies, by the way. I don't think I actually officially mentioned that. Maybe I did. Anyways, we are headed to the main lobby of all-star movies here to grab a quick bite to eat. Just something, I don't know, just a grab and go breakfast. We don't have time to uh, sit down because we need to get to Animal Kingdom for rope jobs so we can maximize our day. But anyways, we will catch up with you later at the park. So without any further ado, let the adventures begin. in Animal Kingdom. We got in a little early because you know we're staying on resort, which is nice. But uh, the process of actually getting in is a little chaotic. It's a little crazy. And we are uh, adding to the chaos by making our way to Flight of Passage. So uh, wish us luck. So this will be both of our first times checking out Pandora. I mean- I'm so excited. Yeah. <laughs> Last time I was here back in 2017, it was a couple months away from opening, but I never actually got to experience it. So yeah, I, I, I can't wait. <laughs> but yeah, it is kind of chaotic. <laughs> We're not rushing too much, but uh, you can tell people are itching to get there first. I refuse to run to it. Yeah. It just seems ridiculous. A lot of people here, but at least, uh, at least the line is moving. I think they just opened up the queue, so we're filling it up now. It'll be interesting to see how long our wait is, though. <laughs> wow, you get real close to these floating mountains here. So apparently our wait time is 40 minutes. That's not bad at all. Actually, that's really good. At least we're moving quickly. Yeah. And like this part of the queue and like where we were before, you know, we twist all around the land. We get to see everything. So it's kind of a nice little tour to start off our day. Mm -hmm. It is truly breathtaking though. Like it's so pretty. Mine is almost moving too fast. Like there's just so much and you just can't take it all in. Okay, this looks like the uh, part where we actually enter the caves. And we are passing the washrooms. Oh, this line is moving fast. You actually wish the wait was longer. <laughs> There's so much to look at. We like only got glimpses of it just because we were moving so fast. But I mean, not to complain. Yeah, not to complain. Like I think we're like I don't know how much further we have to go, but I think we're almost to uh, the link chambers now. A few minutes later. Okay, so we just came off flight of passage. <laughs> that <laughs> it was. <laughs> yeah, that. <laughs> oh my, it's so good! 
Really oh man. Uh, like just every like just everything about it was just it was great. <laughs> I can't even use words right now. I was shocked. Yeah, yeah, me too. Like I mean like I knew somewhat what to expect. Like I knew like you're gonna be able to feel the banshee breathing, but just experiencing it in person is a whole nother thing. <laughs> and, and I really liked how there were moments that like kind of really thrilled you. And then like mixed with those like relaxing, like breathtaking moments, you're like, wow, this is gorgeous. So just, ah, perfect. <laughs> it was everything I hoped it would be. <laughs> and maybe a bit more. Oh, also I timed our wait, uh, basically like from the moment we got in line to the first free show and it was 27 minutes. So it pays to get here early. Chris the girl, if you're watching, and I know you are, come to Pandora because they have plants. <laughs> Oh, these are so cool. Build your own necklace or bracelet. All right, here we go. Navi River journey. Are you excited? So excited. <laughs> Me too. Okay, we just came off Navi River journey. Michael, what was your thoughts on the ride? Loki, I felt like it was a little underwhelming. Yeah. Like it was, it was nice to just chill and vibe, mm -hmm. but there wasn't anything making it fun. Yeah, like I definitely wouldn't wait like a huge amount of time for it. It definitely was like more for the vibe, more than anything. Yeah. Uh, it was fun to see Pandora. Yeah, exactly. Especially since, you know, it's morning right now. So we, you know, got that nighttime experience in a way. I will say that the uh, animatronic of the shaman woman was... Really awesome. Yeah. <laughs> like, it looked like she was staring, like, right yeah, at you at some point. Yeah. <laughs> like, it's like, like, not even the movements, just the way that she even, looked at you. Yeah, but even the movements, the movements looked realistic. Oh yeah, yeah, definitely one of the best animatronics I've seen so far, at least. Yeah. For sure. All right, uh, so now we are leaving the Valley of Moara and we are moving on to Harambe because the next thing we want to do is Kilimanjaro safaris. See the animals. Oh, hello, bird. On second thought, the line for Kilimanjaro safaris is kind of insane right now. Like it starts just on the other side of the bridge from Discovery Island, which is um, that's a little much. <laughs> so we're going to grab some food and maybe do some other rides and come back to it later. All right, we're all filled up with some breakfast sandwiches from the Isle of Java. And now we're heading into Dinoland USA to do dinosaur. Right. Right. Of course, on our way to dinosaur, we have to say hi to our friend, Sue. Hello, Sue. How are you? Nice. I love the dinosaur queue because of all the fossils and all the cool displays that you can see. There's just ah, so much to look at in here. Including this fossil of a Carnotaurus.
But I resolved it. It's a breathtaking journey from prehistoric world to the witness the most spectacular creatures to ever walk the earth. Hello there. Yeah. Welcome to our little transdimensional joyride, yeah. folks. I'm Dr. Seeker, your friendly controller, and a heck of a paleontologist, if I do say so myself. But let's not talk about me. Let's talk about you. And how you can help me make history today with the Time Rover. If I can bring you back from the Cretaceous period, it stands to reason that I can bring back a live dinosaur with you. And not just any dinosaur. Take a look at this guy. He's an iguanodon. And I'm certain that he has the key to understanding these magnificent creatures. We just did Dinosaur, which is one of my personal favorite rides. Michael, what did you think about it? It would be really awesome on a like really hot day. Plus, mm. it's really awesome in general. Yes, absolutely. But there's just so many gusts of wind. <laughs> yeah. I uh, also don't remember it being as intense. Like, I don't know. It was just more wild than I than I remembered, which was great. <laughs> Right here in the dinosaur, there's a whole train going around the store. Dinosaurs from the ceiling. What a place. Oh gosh. Jumbo, and welcome to the village of Harambe. That was so good. We are going to hop in line for Kilimanjaro Safaris. Because, I mean, it's a must do here at Animal Kingdom. So, we're gonna must do it. Huh? Oh yeah, you've never done it! I forgot about that. Yeah, yeah so this will be Mike's first time. We're so excited. I'd like to say out here in Harambe, everyone, Twende, which means, let's go! Woo! <laughs> let's go! Jamba, everyone, Jamba, my name is Teresa. I'll be your safari guide for today's journey through the They're going to spend a majority of their entire day doing absolutely nothing else but eating. And by that, I mean they spend about 22 hours every single day just eating. Extremely poor eyesight though, much worse than mine, and unlike me, they're not able to wear glasses all day long. So that's gonna be the male laying down right there on the grass. Now the goats do spend most of their day grazing on the grass. So Michael, that was your first safari. What did you think about it? It was fun. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It reminded me of African lion safari. Oh yes, it did. What was your favorite animal? I like those monkeys, but oh, only yeah. because I got to see, I got to watch them walk away, and I thought it was funny to see their butts. <laughs> Fair. All right, we're moving on to Asia. We're gonna have to go back for the uh, Gorilla Falls Trail. We want to hit up Cali River Rapids. We're gonna get soaked. <laughs> Just a little bit. Cali River Rapids. Just a little bit. Just a little bit.
up on the top of the temple here, we might have a view of some tigers. I don't know where they are. We found the tiger! Can you see? Like Toby. I miss Toby. I know you do. Love the artwork and the attention to detail on these temple walls. I mean, basically everything in Animal Kingdom is super immersive and super well themed, which is why it's one of my favorite parks here at Disney. Everybody has a water buffalo. Yours is fast, but mine is slow. Oh, where'd we get them? I don't know, but everybody's got a water buffalo. Ooh. Got a much better view of the tiger on this side. She's actually doing something. Yeah. She's a pacing. She looks We got Gibbons right here and then a giant balloon over there that passes by again. Next up on our tour of the trails here at Animal Kingdom is Gorilla Falls. Uh, this one obviously has the African animals. Okay, where are the buffalo? Oh boy, I think there's gonna be a buffalo up here. But where? I'm aware. Okay. I don't see any buffalo, but I do see an okapi butt over there. <laughs> We've got a hippo coming in. We only got some fish. Alright, we're about to go over this bridge here, and I think we're going to be able to see some gorillas soon. I don't know. Oh, I think I see one. There's one. He just kind of rolled over and... Oh, what's he got? Oh, he just woke up from a nap. Is that's that a blanket? I, that's what I look like when I wake up from a nap. <laughs> that's what I look like when I wake up from a nap. Yep. The gorilla is on the move. And that's another thing I really love about Animal Kingdom. All of the streetmosphere and performers and artists that you see all over the place. tip come down to the discovery island trails not only will you see a bunch of really cool animals but you'll get a nice up close look at the trunks and all the roots and stuff on the tree i love seeing all the animals you can find on the tree of life like this tape here right here amazing detail and it's so cool to see it up close like this Show of hands, positive reinforcement. 
And that takes us to the end of our time at Disney's Animal Kingdom. We had a ton of fun exploring the park, especially Pandora. I have to say, seeing Pandora and riding Flight of Passage was probably the highlight of the trip for me, so it was really cool that we got to experience it right at the beginning of the trip. Animal Kingdom has always been one of my favorite parks. I'm such a huge Joe Rody fan, and I really appreciate all of the intricate details and backstories that make up the park. And Michael enjoys the park too, but he doesn't quite appreciate it to the same degree that I do. He likes to conquer the parks at a faster pace, and Animal Kingdom is really one of those parks where you kind of have to slow it down in order to enjoy it properly. But I have to admit, we were able to get the park done early and had enough time to finish off the day at Magic Kingdom. Speaking of which, coming up, Michael and I finished our first full day at the resort in Magic Kingdom where we take a sunset cruise on the Liberty Square Riverboat, ride some of our favorite Disney attractions like Haunted Mansion and Space Mountain, and take a very chaotic spin on Tomorrowland Speedway during the fireworks. So if you enjoyed this adventure and don't want to miss any of my future videos, be sure to subscribe. You can also find me on Instagram and Twitter at ADV Parker. And if you really enjoy what I do here on the channel, I now have a Patreon, which is kind of like a tip jar where you can give a monthly donation to the channel and in return get some sweet perks like exclusive bonus content, mail, and merch. And hey, speaking of merch, if you want to rep adventures with Parker and flaunt designs inspired by my adventures, head on over to my brand new store, Adventure Outpost. Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, have a magical week.